What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into something absolutely mind-blowing. A transportation revolution that could change the way we move forever. Imagine this. No more sprinting for connections. No more lugging bags through crowded stations. And no more mistransfers. Sounds too good to be true? Well, Kawasaki doesn't think so. Introducing the Alice system. Kawasaki's visionary public transportation concept that promises a zero transfer experience, debuting at Expo 2025 in Osaka, Japan. This isn't some far off idea set for 2050. You'll be able to experience it firsthand next year. Here's how it works you board an Alice cabin near your home. The cabin then automatically links up with various transport modes Alice car, Alice rail, Alice ship even Alice aircraft. And the best part? You stay in the same cabin the entire time. No getting up, no hauling luggage, no stress. All you do is use a dedicated mobile app to set your destination and travel preferences. Want the fastest route? Done. Prefer a scenic journey? Easy. The app creates a personalized travel plan, adjusting everything to your needs. And get this, it's all powered by clean hydrogen energy using Kawasaki's groundbreaking Akivoid generator, originally developed for motorcycles. Talk about a commitment to sustainability. But Kawasaki didn't stop at convenience. The Alice cabin is designed for everyone. Robotic arms assist passengers with mobility needs. Concierge functions and remote communication systems provide entertainment and assistance. It's a fully inclusive experience that eliminates traditional travel barriers for the elderly and physically challenged. At Expo 2025, you'll be able to explore a full-scale Alice Rail unit, witness live docking demonstrations, try interactive exhibits that give you a taste of the future of mobility. Kawasaki believes that mobility is a basic human impulse, and Alice is their vision of a world where anyone can move freely, comfortably, and sustainably through the cities of tomorrow. So what do you think? Are we looking at the future of urban transportation?